welcome. How's everybody doing all right then? Good, good. Appreciate you guys coming out. This is uh, kind of a nice tour because you get to see how government slash corporate aviation uh, happen. And also, you guys are, are one of our big customers in the aviation safety and education section, uh, which is where I'm from. And uh, try to let you know as far as some of the programs we do it throughout the year and, and tell you how to get involved with that. So anybody recognize this airport? Back in the day. Back in the day. So let's see, what notable, I'll give you a hint, what notable airline was uh, headquartered here in the state? Piedmont. Piedmont. Piedmont, there you go. So where was Piedmont headquartered at? Uh, Greensboro. What's the city? There you go. <laughs> That's a bad, uh, you know, don't smoke, okay, yeah. you know, guys, don't do it. So, yeah, that's uh, kind of neat. They got the old terminal, so if you're ever over there flying, you know, get some fuel, but walk up to the old terminal. They have some real pretty stained glass and all of that. The Reynolds family was pretty influential in it. I uh, saw a documentary on the airport. It was kind of cool because they were saying that Greensboro and Winston were really fighting for that number one spot to be the aviation city and so you got a chance to kind of see how that that fleshed out uh, they were pretty big you know back in the day with people in the 70s and 80s when i was coming along they flew a lot of big iron over there uh, it was always the dream to to get on with, with piedmont so they'd say hey if you go over there if you hear about when the interview's happening you can slide in if anybody's sick you might luck out and be able to sit in on the interview you know so that was always the, the dream to do that so, anyway, I'm an aviation safety specialist, which is a bad acronym, by the way. <laughs> and, uh, so, you can feel free to reach me here at the office anytime, uh, email, and we have a couple of websites uh, to boot. So, we do partner pretty close with the FAA, although I couldn't give you a ticket or a write up if I wanted to. So, uh, we just have, we're both governmental agencies and we're both fairly similar. Now there's the federal DOT, which FAA falls under, and there's state DOT, and that's what we fall under. You may have seen the yellow vehicles out front, I don't know. So that's a telltale sign. I've always wanted to learn to fly, even since I was a youngster, and uh, nothing was going to stop me to keep me from getting in the air. So uh, what about you guys, as far as I, I can learn a little bit from, from your perspective? Uh, what if, we'll just kind of go around the room. Why did you want to learn to fly? And, Kind of, it's uh, something I always wanted to do, growing up, obviously. Well, I had several of those boxes for myself. <laughs> um, but I, uh, going to college, I uh, actually got into the Air Force Academy, but it was going. Uh, but I didn't pass my physical because I was too tall to be pilot qualified. Oh, right. Yeah, from their standards. I missed it by literally going by three quarters of an inch. Um, so my buzz was stripped. For a little while, but I still had it. And uh, you know, back. Cool. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right. I know you. Uh, let's yeah. see. Well, you can tell your story too. Well, I never really thought about flying, period. Never crossed my mind mm -hmm. until Kevin, my son, kind of. Oh. Got me interested. Well, great. Right, great. Right. So, Kevin, how did you start uh, doing his career? You want to do his career? I mean, what kind of sparked your interest? Back in my day, you watched Top Gun and you just <laughs> yeah, voluntarily yeah. went down to the reserve <laughs> office. <laughs> that was the 80s. <laughs> I'm actually just tagging along when son is taking the flying lessons okay. at Oxford from the ground school. So I actually took lessons in college at Maryland, at College Park, oh. University of Maryland. He's trying to get me to get back and get my license. Paul's been, Paul's been nice enough to let me borrow his planes and be teaching. So I might, I might take it up if I can find time away from work. Well, hey, all the other guys are working all the time. Know the trick. How do you get back to life where you have time? To have do time, it? exactly. So. Well, I, that's some of the other subjects I wanted to cover too. Was what are your challenges? And besides having on your pen writing hand for writing the checks out, getting a little tired, maybe getting <laughs> right. <laughs> so what, what? Got your dad, and you know, get you motivated. Uh, was it your dad's stories from? Oh, you didn't have any, did you? 
We've gone every year show they've ever had. I've always kind of been into it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. As soon as I pestered him enough to get flying lessons. Shows and yeah. stuff like yeah. that. Okay. I watch, watch Michael Gooley and uh, doing the Red Bull races on TV and I thought, yeah. oh, that's exactly what I don't really want to do. <laughs> <laughs> See the G forces those guys pull? Stream 13. That <laughs> just spells no fun for me. But maybe back years ago, I don't know. Yes, sir. I've just always wanted to. Always wanted to. Okay. Okay. All right. Yes, sir. Uh, I worked at an air airport when I was younger and couldn't afford it, so I just, now that I'm a little older and in school, I have the time, so I'm doing it now. Cool. Good for you. That's awesome. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The family's all pilots. Mm -hmm. and, uh, just hearing their stories kind of ones made me want to fly. Cool. That was my background. My fa uh, father was a flight instructor and taught in a college system over at Guilford Tech in Greensboro. They have aviation program over there. We've actually partnered, I guess, a couple of years ago with Henry Riddle, so you can go do the four-year thing. And, uh, but you go go with folks like Paul to, to seek out your own flight training you, with that, their program and uh, folks in the area. So, so that's great. That's great. Yes, we know. I always wanted to retire last week and nothing else to do. So. Retired last week. Give a shot. Did you waste any time getting over there? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get on with it. Let's go. Well, good. That's awesome. <coughs> yes, sir. Last bit. Uh, my dad uh, did a lot of work with airports as a PE, and I want to do it. So, okay. Me up with Paul. Cool. So, are any notable which which engineering firm? Uh, he worked for DOT. Oh, did he? Yeah. Okay. He's retired now. But, uh, What's his name? Oh yeah, well, I work with Mark. I oh, sure did. Yeah, okay. he was right here in this office. So. Yeah. Well, so awesome. Here, yeah. Cool, cool. Right about there. Wow. Okay. So, <laughs> well, excellent, excellent. So, um, yeah, that's one part of our office we'll talk about. So, what do we do here? Um, we do have our aerial phot photography and passenger service. We do with the aircraft. You'll see in just a little bit. Uh, I was actually on this particular flight when they were, remember when they were moving the lighthouse. So we got a chance to take some shots where you come in right over the water and we're in these twin engine turboprops going, you know, 160, 70 knots or so. And then the camera takes pictures straight down, so you have to bank the plane over. And the photographer at the time had to look through the through the bomb side. We were shooting film back then. He films that stuff. Very interesting. Anyway. Um, so we were shooting film, but you had to have good timing. But it's kind of reminiscent of World War II. You ever seen the old war films where they're looking through the bomb site, you know, the Norton bomb scope and <laughs> letting the bombs go? It's kind of the equivalent of that uh, with the photography. And so what we do, typically, most of our gigs are for uh, highway construction. So we'll take pictures of roads and we'll do a succession of shots, and then they'll build those shots together into what they call a mosaic. And that's where most of our business comes through. But these are some of the kind of the fun stuff that we do and whatnot. You remember what it, what it took? You know, they put this, this thing on rails and they were moving it with hydraulic jacks. Remember what the key was to get it to move? Dawn soap. <laughs> so they actually soaked the rails and they were like making, you know, just inches of progress a day. And it's, you know, it seemed like, and just easing it down those rails. So it's kind of a, Fascinating time, you know. So there's another another shot of it. You can see that track system they have. Uh, any idea what this airport is? Anybody doing any cross country flying yet? All right, let's see. How many folks have solo thus far? Okay, a few. Pre solo. What's the rest of the good. 